Hello, my friends. No, this is not my real hair. And we came up with a name for her today, Miles and I. Her name is Charlene. Last night, we got all of the Christmas decor up, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of how this stuff looked. I already shot like a few videos um, near the Christmas tree because I wanted to have like a Christmas tree vibe around it, but it is so cute. I mean, I personally really like it. And I got a few hacks for you guys as well if you are looking for, um, if you wanna make fresh garland or anything like that, I'm pretty sure this video is gonna go live like halfway through December anyways. So, a little tour. Um, before we got our Christmas tree, we actually put lights on this fiddle leaf. Um, she's doing pretty good, uh, a little dry spots, but I'd rather her be a little dry than have root rot. And we got our tree, she's small, she's cute, she's not a statement piece. And we still need a topper, um, still need more lights up here. But for the most part, I really want to keep it simple. I put my blanket down there. I'm probably going to wash it, but I really like the look of this blanket because it matches our carpet. I put a, a lot of our little orange peels over here. There's Mocha. She's on the tree every year. We love her for that. And then um, if you guys go to Home Depot where they sell the real live trees, um, they actually also take apart some of the leaves and you, they give it away for free. If you guys remember in my last few vlogs, I actually got garland over here and it was $10. But these real life pine uh, leaves are free. So just go to Home Depot and ask them for like their leftover like branches or something like that. I think it's such an amazing hack. I'm definitely not gonna be buying garland next year. I'm just gonna wait and use real life branches for that. And I got a few baby's breath. I got my, you know, little orange peels that I used for Friendsgiving. And down here, I just have my bowl, like just a clear bowl with a few um, festive things in there. And I, I know I'm doing a lot of talking right now, but I just wanna show you guys a little bit of our a little bit of our home decor for Christmas. So this bolt, uh, <laughs> this vase right here used to have pompous grass in it. I switched it out for um, the branches that I got from Home Depot. I think it looks really beautiful and like just adds a little bit of color, a little bit of festivity. And we put some faux garland on our stairway. Nothing too crazy. We want to keep it a little bit more simple. And yeah, so that is for the most part, oh my God, how can I forget? I also, this should be the last of our moving vlog, but honestly, we are still here in lots of boxes, um, still unpacking and trying to go room by room. So I did get this Vesta um, uh, covers for your bed or an insert, you can use it as an insert. And it is amazing. I heard all the reviews. I looked it up online and I was so impressed with it. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing in a little bit to show you guys uh, what it looks like when I eventually make out the bed because I haven't made up the bed yet today. All right, as you guys can see by the change of the lighting, um, I it is much later on in the evening and the sun is about to go down, but today I am so excited to be opening up this Vesta comforter because this one actually, super breathable. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this time of year is like the time of year that I usually get really sick because I get very cold and then I get really hot and then I get really cold. So this comforter is supposed to be really breathable and it's supposed to be, um, it's made of silk so that you don't get too hot when you sleep and I'm really excited to try it out. Um, and I'll let you guys know, but now that I got it, like, I'm just like, I need to bust it out and try it out tonight. So, look at this. How cute. Oh my gosh. So Vesta actually sent this to me and they gave me a code for you guys to, to try out. I know that they're having a massive discount right now. Um, during their holiday season, so make sure to check out Vesta down in the description. But look how cute. They gave me a whole basket and everything. This is gonna be so nice. Look, I just got my Vesta um, comforter and it's made of silk. And look, it comes with its own basket. How cute is this?
Okay, as you guys saw, I recently took the comforter out of um, the box, so it has obviously a lot of wrinkles. I might steam it. It feels so soft. That silk material is so gorgeous. And also this deep gray color is perfect because I like a more moody bedroom anyways. It looks like it's made of very durable fabric and it's gonna last a really long time as long as we take care of it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Definitely make sure to check the description for discount codes. Hello guys. It's a different day today because I am re-filming this segment of the video because when I initially filmed it, we're not gonna get into that actually. Today, today, in today's video, I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about my goal setting for the new year because I talk a little bit about it on my Instagram here and there and every single time I either mention it or talk about how I've reached a certain goal and I show you guys my little goal board you guys always ask me about what kind of system is that? What do you use to create your boards? And like, you know, cause it looks very visually, it looks very different from a vision board and I no longer use vision boards. They don't, whatever. I'll tell you a little bit into why I don't use vision boards anymore and why this works a little bit better for me. Um, and I'm currently actually, I just removed all of my 2021 uh, goals that I've accomplished or thank you Miles. Miles is over here trying to scurry off. Bye darling. See, I was going to do it and quiet. <laughs> yeah, I called you out. Well, guys, uh, it's Miles' birthday tomorrow, so his diva behavior has fully kicked in as he's drinking my Moscato. I'm turning what? How old am I turning? 24? 30. No, you're going the opposite He's way. turning 25? 30. I'm not turning 30. You're turning 27. 30. <laughs> I feel like this vlog has been a little bit chatty and it's just gonna have to be a chatty AF vlog because I'm gonna explain to you guys a little bit about this whole goal boarding process. I'm getting ready to kind of start setting my year end goals for 2022 um, and the steps that I need to take to get to my year end goals. The way that I do my goal board is I take two different colors of sticky notes. Now, I didn't create this process. I actually mashed it together with several different processes that I saw on TikTok and on YouTube and everything. And I kind of mashed it all together and this works best for me. So I hope that it works for you guys. But I use two color sticky notes. For me, I use purple and blue just because that's what I had, honestly. Um, <laughs> so the purple uh, represents year end goals and I kind of stick it at the end of my board. And right in the center of my board, I have like a line of demarcation. So on the other side of my board, I have all of the things that I will have accomplished so that if I accomplish anything on this side, I will move it to this side. The blue sticky notes um, are kind of like things that I would consider accomplishments that help me get to my year end goal. Like if I have um, one of my goals for this, for the end of 2022 is to reach 30,000 subscribers. That seems like such a lofty goal, especially knowing how much subscribers I do have now. But I feel like if I, what I'm getting ready to do right now and what I will do with you guys right now is to get to 30, there are certain milestones that I need to reach. Well, for one, I would need to reach 17,000 subscribers um, on YouTube and also 20,000 subscribers. So my blue sticky notes are basically the little milestones that I would use. So if I accomplished that goal or something happened or whatever the case is, like if I was able to accomplish that goal, I would move it over to the accomplished side. And I feel like visually it helps to see the goals that you have accomplished on the other side. It kind of feels like, you know, when you're writing down a to-do list, and you write down the things you've already done just so they can have something checked off on your to-do list. That's kind of what it feels like. It's kind of like a self-rewarding mechanism to remind yourself that you're also accomplishing certain things. Do you need a mind? Also, I feel like if you're ever gonna set a goal, make sure it's not just a super lofty goal just for shits and giggles. I feel like if you're gonna set a goal, you should probably have a blueprint or a path on how you're gonna get there or try and kind of reverse engineer how you can get there and then kind of do something like this where you would know what are certain things that I need to accomplish 
um, whether it has certain timelines or it doesn't or it's just a little reminder to help you keep going towards your end goal um, it can definitely help that way but on my accomplished side of my board something that I've done in 2021 that has also allowed me to remain grateful and remain um, and remain faithful in, even in times where it feels like I haven't accomplished enough or I'm feeling really disheartened and we all have those times particularly when you're about to get on your period okay let's be real uh, where you start to feel like wow I'm just so far behind and people are so far ahead of me I also like to put whenever anything happens that I know is a God thing like you know that it's like wow the only reason why this happened is because God did it you know what I'm saying <laughs> something that you hadn't planned on accomplishing um, and it just feels like it's a blessing in your life. I would also put it on the other side of the board where it feels like um, It's not just my accomplishments, but it's also like God's little Blueprints in my life, you know, and so I feel like doing it that way allows me to feel like I'm not just Setting goals just for my own self-fulfillment, but I'm working towards something um I'm working towards something greater than just myself, you know? I feel like when I was doing vision boards in the literal sense of the world, like when I was doing uh, the pictures and printing them out and sticking them on this board, and I literally used to do that for so many years, and it just felt so gluttonous, and every time I would look at this picture, it felt really vague, it felt very, um, I don't know, it felt very woo-woo, uh, almost like spiritual in a non-Christian sense. Do you get what I'm saying? And I had to remind myself that at the end of the day, the, the one that does it all, right? The one that makes things happen is God. And if it is in his plan and if it's in his timing, things will happen perfectly. And there are several things that I had put on pictures, um, on my vision boards that just felt so impersonal like i can't tell you guys how many years in a row literally since college that i have said that i wanted to either win a lottery or get a million dollars and none of that has happened to now also how i set my year-end goals is usually based off of what i've been able to accomplish the year before so obviously life and success doesn't always happen in a very linear setting that I'm able to really assess my progress by seeing what have I done and what can I be consistent with and I just finished reading this book called uh, Great by Choice and it is such a good book it's literally written as if it's a research paper but made a little bit more entertaining I guess but they talk about so many different things that people who are outliers and who are 10x companies, what they do to make themselves stand out or be different from companies that kind of have their shot, their limelight, and then they fizzle out. And one of the greatest things that they do is, is their consistency. And more importantly, what is it that you can do year after year consistently that will allow you to have what may seem like gradual success at first, but, but after a while, it starts to become exponential growth. So I saw what my growth was for YouTube between 2020 and 2021, and I, and I told myself if I was consistent, I would be able to predict this much amount of growth for this next upcoming year. And that's what I was able to use as my year end goal. And then I slowly start to see um, that movement. But you know what's crazy is a lot of times life is so incredible that it gives you above and beyond what you ask for. And funny enough, actually, my quote for this year, oh, my quote for this year is our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly and above all we ask and think or think and that's Ephesians 3 20 and that's my quote for the year that I'm using for uh, 2022 also scientifically they, there has been studies that show that if you write down a goal and you stick it every day you are like 70% more likely to accomplish that goal just because your mind literally motivates you to work towards that goal and I feel like having a goal board like this, not a vision board, but a goal board that allows you to see and track your progress and also have yourself like little accomplishments where you can move it across, makes you wanna work harder to like move that number across. So one of the year end goals that I had actually for last year and I'm like super like blessed to have had this opportunity was um, I wanted to get a sponsored video by Pretty Little Thing and or Boohoo and if you guys have been here or you guys have been around I actually had both a sponsored video and a gifted video from both companies this past year which 
<laughs> when I saw those emails, I was like, ah, I get to move a year end goal to the other side. I was so, so happy. Also, like, obviously, I love those brands and I wear them all the time. Oh, another fun little travel goal. This one wasn't really a goal, but it was just something that I really wanted to do, you know? And that was to travel to Florida by May of 2021, which, funny enough, I went to Florida three times this year. So I feel like by the third time, I was like, okay, I need to move this goal to the other side because <laughs> I basically live in Miami now because I've been there way too many times. But that was a fun little goal that I was able to move to the other side. This one, this one was actually not something that I had put up or even like predicted to be a goal for me this past year. Um, I didn't even write it down. I actually, it was a blessing that I wrote down and I put it on my board to remind me that whoa sometimes god really be knowing what he's doing um i have been talking about wanting to purchase my own car but life just kind of aligned perfectly this past year that i was able to purchase my own car and like i love my car so much she is perfect like great on fuel mileage i that's why i drive to dc all the dang time if you guys know but great on fuel mileage um perfectly compact super spacious I love my car, okay? She's amazing. Let me know what are some of the goals that you guys have been able to accomplish this past year. I feel like it would be super encouraging both for me and for other people watching this video. So it's definitely one thing that I would definitely encourage you guys if you're starting to write down your goals, understand why you want certain things and then write it down, make your year end goals, set up your little, you know, mini accomplishments that you would need to get there and do the dang thing. You you can do it. I mean, the amount of things that I have been able to accomplish, like these are all of my sticky notes that I took down from my accomplishments, goals. And there are, like, I will also say this, right? Wow, this is the longest video ever. Um, there are definitely things that I did not accomplish, but certain things that I did not accomplish by 2021, and I, the ones that I actually did still want to accomplish, I moved them over to year, um, to 2022 goals and really broke them down and understood why I didn't reach it. Whereas some of them, I'm like, I didn't even want that. Like, <laughs> what, what made me think I wanted that? So I totally removed it, you know? I've done a lot of talking. I am gonna start editing this video right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. Definitely make sure to check out Vesta because I know I do have a discount code for you guys. Also, I have been sleeping in the Vesta comforter for a few days now and it is so good so good like literally it i have i have not sweated in my sleep since i got it like it is so cooling so comforting and so like buttery smooth because of the silk material oh so good so okay i gotta start setting up for miles birthday bye guys